Oh, okay. It's gonna be one of those games, eh? How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flames Plays, and today we are checking out Unreasoning Fear. It's an indie game, it's an indie horror game available right now. I'll have a link in the description box down below, as well as links to my Discord, Patreon, and Twitter if you'd like to check any of those out. We'll go ahead and click on play, which my head is just about blocking. And we jump on in to a very dark and spooky looking building. Task, pick up the vaccine and leave. Okay, well that door is locked, so I guess we're just going to continue. Oh, here we go. I found the vaccine already. All right, this is definitely, it's very health looking. A uh, little spoot, spoot of blood there, so that's probably, can't open that. Okay, well, also locked, but I have a note here that I can read. No, I can't. Uh, buttons, buttons do nothing except for walk me forward. I don't know what that says. I give up. We're just going to continue down this way. Oh, is this one I can read? Nope, that's someone's letter. Oh, what's that? What's this? Oh, it's like, oh, it's just like a little tag. It's an inventory tag for whoever owns that monitor. It's probably a company monitor. I had I had those tags on my stuff back when I went in the office. And we have a Viglin and a Samsung. I don't know what Viglin is. Is that an actual brand? I mean, judging by the fact that they use a Samsung monitor, I assume that is, but I just don't know what it is. I never heard of it. Let's uh, go check out this door. Also locked. All right, well, this way is open. And in here, we have a dark, spooky hallway and a coat hanger. There's... Oh, oh actually, this looks like it's the coat room. Oh, there we go. There we go. I found keys. All right, cool. So that should let me open up some doors. Hopefully. Nope. Okay, cool. Glad I tried. Let's try this door over here. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. It's going to be one of those games, eh? God damn, that was terrifying. Get out of here. Oh, I broke it. Sorry, sorry, monster man. I broke your lock. I'll, I'll get you a new one. Did you get, where'd you get that at? Dollar General? Actually, that, it looks old and fake. I'm going to assume you get it from Spirit Halloween. I can't see Dilly Squat here. It's just dark. So I'm going to try to figure out where to go by following lights. Howdy. You okay, dude? <laughs> they really had to make sure to include that guy falling asleep and snoring, didn't you? I don't have a flashlight. Does he have a flashlight? Can I, can I take his hat? It's a pretty sweet hat. Okay, also, I'm like being... There's like apparently a gnat in my office that is just... All up in my grill. Oh, oh wait. Wait, I can open up these drawers. Even though his legs are in the way, I can still open the drawers up. God, it's just so dark, I can't see. No, he's got nothing, okay. Let me just see. Am I going... You need to find a flashlight, yeah. I thought that was the plan. Hey, hey, buddy, wake up. Where do you keep your flashlights at? Alright, is there a flashlight in here? That I'm not aware of? Wait, I think I saw... What is that? Okay, I'm gonna run back here and I'm not gonna write that all down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run back here if I run into something that needs that. But for right now... I... Uh, it's like impossible to see, it's impossible! Can I go in here? Do I want to go in here? I don't think I want to go in here. This is just another cell. It doesn't have anything that I can see at least. Oh my god, it's so dark. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. This is where he was. I was like, uh, where'd that sleeping dude go? I'm really tempted to just up the brightness on my monitor or something. Okay, does he have something in his hands that I'm not aware of, or? No? 
No, he definitely has nothing. God, he's just snoring. He's so loud. God. Flashlight. The flashlight is in the pocket of the guard. Wait, do I actually have to, like, root through his pockets, or...? Oh, my God. Thank you for telling me that, I guess. What pocket? What, what are you talking about pocket? Okay, I'm I'm looking at the guard. I'm clicking on what I assume would be his chest pocket, his pants pocket. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm losing it. I feel like I'm just losing it. I'm clicking on everything I can. Where do I how do I find flashlight? Oh my god. God, you're kidding me. That was bull. That was horrible. You should like have it turned on or something so I can find it easier. God. Damn it, I'm actually annoyed at that so much right now. Oh, but I have the flashlight. Obviously, we can keep an eye out for jump scares now. And I want to check out these cells and see if there's anything different in here. Okay, it's getting just it's just super dark now. I can't really see much of anything. Oh, I found a door. Cool. What is this? Seven. So, I have a part of the code, I guess. Oh, it's pizza. Can I get that pizza? Oh, I can't get that pizza. That's the worst. Oh, and it's Italian pizza, too. That's the best kind of pizza. None of that Swedish pizza or anything like that. I'm, I'm sure Sweden has delicious pizza. I, I, I don't know what to expect, though, anymore. I mean, I'm trying to think of actually if I know any Swedish food, and I'm pretty sure Swedish fish doesn't count. <laughs> Dude... He's so out of it. I'm running a flashlight directly into his face and he don't care. Okay. Can you lock the door? I can. Do I want to lock the door? I don't know if I want to. Why did the music all stop? I don't like that. Where is this? What is this area? Okay, I found a radio. Is that... Is the radio supposed to, like, wake the guard up or something? Hey, wake up, there's a radio playing. Nope, he's... He's out like a light. Well, guess we're gonna go down this hallway and see what I can find. I hear something squishy. Why did I hear something squishy? Oh. Found a sock. I don't want to know where that sock's been used for. Just, please, don't tell me. Oh, what do we got here? Brother, I brought you food. It's, it's poo. You, you've brought me poo to eat once again. Oh, you, what a prankster you are, brother. Oh, there you go. What the? Ampersand. Okay. So I found a seven and I found an ampersand. I don't really know what that's exactly for. There's something squishy back there that I don't really like that much, but... Alright, now that I have... So I have a seven and an ampersand. I can lock the door. Do I want to lock the door? I'm gonna lock the door. Ah! Take that. Yeah, jerk, you can't find me. I probably should have looked at the code before I did that then. Oh, I thought I saw something hanging from the ceiling. God damn, how many people are sleeping here? Uh, can I not take his gun? Of all the things that would be important for me to take in this game, I think the gun is probably one of the most important ones. Okay, so there's all these lockers. I can't go into them, which was my thought process of, hey, we go into the locker. Do I want to take a nap? What am I doing in here? Room sucks. He's got a radio, he's got a big bald head, and he's got a gun, which I can't... Seriously, I can't steal his gun? That's so weird. Wait, what if I turn the light on? Okay. Well. I'm gonna assume that was probably what I was supposed to do, but at the same time, 
wasn't supposed to do because he definitely just shot me in the face. He shot me in the f face. He's still asleep. So wait, why did I do that? Why, why did I come down here? Uh, let me try, let me do this. I'm gonna turn the light, oh wait, maybe, maybe there's something here? I'm gonna turn the light off again. And see if maybe something changed, no, nothing changed, okay. I was thinking like maybe there'd be like a, a UV code or not UV, glow in the dark code or something like that, but no. Nope, just same old razzmatazz. Nothing in here, nothing in the lockers. Just drawers and caddies of nothing. Okay. So if I did not lock the door behind me, would, have, would he have just pulled the gun on me? As well? Because and then, and then went back to... So effectively what I just saw him do is he... Or think I heard him do. He woke up, found the prisoner had left the cell, banged on the door a few times, and then said, eh, good enough, and just went back to sleep. What? Okay, where was that code at again? I have a seven and I have an ampersand. I don't know if that actually translates to anything, but it's worth a shot to take a look. Where was that at? Let's see. Yeah, wait, why did I, did I lose it somehow? It was one of the notes. It was one of the cells that had the note in it, right? Oh, it was over here. No, this is the seven. For some reason, this game is like making my eyes go cross-eyed and water. There it is. So seven is triangle. Two is ampersand. So seven, two. Something needs to hit seven, two. And then, so it's either triangle two or just straight seven. I'm so confused. Triangle seven. God, this doesn't make sense. That door's locked. Like, I'm also annoyed that the game made me go into that jump scare. Like, I had an option. I was like, oh yeah, I'll just, you know, take his weapon. Oh. What's this corridor that I've never been to? Also, what is that sound that I've never heard before? Alright, so we're gonna go down here. What is this? An elevator? Kinda looks like an elevator. Oh, there it goes. 7-2? Ready? Enter? Okay, so there's more there's more things missing. So I have seven two so far. And I got a dead end. Like a completely dead end. There's no way around this thing. Can't crouch, jump even. Alright. So that does seem like this where I need to put this code in. I just need to know what the code is. God damn, this game is a lot more complex than I figured it was going to be. It's little secret passageways and whatnot all throughout this, it seems. I didn't actually listen to the radio all the way through. I think I don't have to listen to the radio all the way through. Nope, okay, cool. So, so glad I did that. All right, seven two something, or seven, I don't know what the order is. I have seven two and that's it. Hmm. Nope, that's the same dead end, great, thank you. Thank you, me, for getting myself stuck again. Is it just seven two? Oh, it's backwards. Nope, so it's something else. Seven, two, one. Seven, two, three. 
I mean, I'm gonna just do this for all of them because that's the extent of my gameplay right now. Nope. Okay, cool. So I don't. Uh, so I don't know what the actual code is. That means. Um. Wait. No. I go. I gotta go back this way. Wait. No. No. I'm getting lost. I hate this. So uh, it's, the coloring in this is so bad, and the flashlight is just the worst. This is on par with one of the worst flashlights I've played. I've used in a game. I almost wished. That... Howdy. Do I do I go back then? No. Nope. Everything's everything's fine. Just a weird hallucination, and now it's all red. Oh, that door's open now. Okay, I found this nine. Oh, so it's red, blue, yellow, green. That's nine. <clears throat> red, blue, yellow, yellow. Yellow would be this piece of paper, I assume. That's very yellowish. Would be seven. So that's a clue. Let me double check something. I want to make sure that the seven's not just the symbol on here. Yeah, it's this room. Okay, yeah, it's not. I just wanted to make sure, like, it wasn't like, oh, we put seven, but it actually means three. And I'd be like, that's that's awesome. Thanks so much. So glad you did that. Thanks, game. So it's something something seven seven nine, something something seven nine. Looking for another code in here, but I don't see anything. Okay, we'll just continue on. Something something seven nine. This room, anything change in here? No. Of course not, why would it? So, oh, so it's, it's, it's either two something seven nine or something two seven nine. Let's, let's try that. One, two, seven, nine. Foo, big boy, howdy. Hey. All right, that was cool. I'm so confused and also straight up not having a good time. So did I just somehow like skip triggers or something like that? That was that would cause not only jump scares, but also the puzzles to progress. Because if that's the case, God damn. All right, I'm going to do uh, eight, two, seven, nine. No. Six, two, seven, nine. No. Four, two, seven, nine. I know I skipped five. Nope, damn it. All right, five, two, seven, nine. I'm just gonna, yeah, you know, I'm just doing this. I'm just gonna do this and I'll see you all in a second. All right, so I tried all those that they don't work. <laughs> I'm guessing I might, I might either have to trigger the uh, actual lock to work or I need to actually find whatever it needs me to find to get the hell out of here. Oh, hello. Because, I mean, like, the radio plays static, but it doesn't actually do anything. Um, I'm not seeing anything else around here, though. That, that's the red light. Snoring dude's gone. I go back here. That's locked. There is still the squishy noise. There's an ampersand. Brother, I brought you some food. I mean, screw it, turn the light on. Why not? That's still doing something. What about if I open these drawers up now that he's gone and no longer blocking this seat? Nothing, cool. There's nothing on the seat, no. All right. Is there a light switch in here? There is not. Okay, there's nothing on the chair. I mean, okay, so it was yellow. 
Um, all right. It was yellow. So something, something two nine. The ampersand was yellow. So if I run back down here, is that either? I thought it was just black, but it could be written in blue. No, it could. I guess that could be blue. I don't know. There's something in the trap. Oh, this maggots and flies. That's 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 cool. Nothing to do with the pizza box. Nothing to do with the graffiti. So something something two nine maybe. Oh God, this. God. Cool. Textures are flickering because they're merged together. You love to see it. There's nothing up here or back here. Yeah, I so I've best I've I've definitely been everywhere. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. Uh, can I close the lid? Maybe there's something else in a toilet. Nope. Okay. Ampersand is definitely two. Um God. And I have a nine. So if we So if we say that that two is yellow, blue, black, so something seven, two, nine. Something 729. Let's try that. Let's give it a go. Over this way and around this corner. Something's. Or so 1729. We're trying. God. Let's do it. Come on. Hey, it was 4729. We did it. Get the hell out of here. Go. Open up. Open up the, the elevator thing. That's right. Come on. You can do it, game. I know you can. I trust you. I believe in you. Also, I just realized what I thought was a corpse hanging from the ceiling is actually a smear or something on my monitor. So that's cool. Huh. I really expected a jump scare or something like that from, uh,. Like right when the doors close, or if I, when I walk and I turn around, the doors close automatically, and there's something standing there. That'd be kind of cool. But instead, we get a elevator, which may or may not crash. I'm waiting for that. We have not confirmed nor deny the obligatory elevator crash scene in a horror game, but we're about to. Ah, no crashing. Okay. Pick up the vaccine and leave. Okay, we're back to this then. Where's the vaccine? That. What? Where? Where is the vaccine? Oh, there it is. Hi. Thank you. I'll take that. How do I leave? Is there a door? Oh, there is indeed a door. Where am I now? Oh, I'm back in this lobby. Okay, cool. So I could just go here. Yep. Jump scare at the very end? Eh, kinda. Got a bunch of guns drawn on me. I mean, that would be... That would be a scare if I had a, a bunch of guns just drawn on me with by... I don't know who this dude's supposed to be, but I don't like the way he looks at me. It's got like, um... A scar. Like a... Uh... Um... Aichi the Killer. Not, not... It wasn't Aichi. It was I I Ichi. Is it Ichi or Ichi? I think it's Ichi. Um, not not Ichi, but the villain dude. I can't remember his name now. But uh, yeah, that was a weird one. Very uh, very jump scary and very weird. I don't. Also, this this music's a jam. I, I, I could I could see me rocking out to this like early two thousands Switchfoot era, maybe even. This was um. Uh, 24 minutes of gameplay. Well, actually a little longer than that because I had to pause for a bit to figure out that code or try to figure out that code. I have no idea how you're supposed to guess that code. Um, I probably just missed something, but I'm glad I was able to find the elevator and wrap up this game and get the actual giant word end. Also, I think my webcam just like flickers or something like that. Just notice that in the corner of my eye. Interesting. Hopefully that's all fine and that none of this is broken, but I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did let me know in the comments down below Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that and also make sure to subscribe so you get updates for at least new content and as always Have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I will talk to you all later. Bye